Hey guys, long time no see. I wanted to make a quick video as a thank you video for reaching 500 subscribers and also to do some announcements or updates, more like an update, and some shout outs. One of the best things about having a smaller number of subscribers is that I get to really interact with you guys and um, for some of you even get to know you a little bit just via commenting. So I definitely wanted to reach out to you guys in that way. The way I'm going to structure this video is um, in three parts. The first part just lets you know what I've been doing. The second part um, is going to be the few updates. And the third part is going to be all shout outs. So listen for your name. I might actually have some comments, individual comments for some of you guys and some questions for some of you guys. So definitely um, listen to the, the video all the way through. As to where I've been, this past summer I took some freelance work doing um, ghostwriting for Microsoft products. I actually helped to ghostwrite or co-write an ebook about Microsoft products. Exciting, isn't it? Also, I got reacquainted with uh, working on a PC because um, some of you guys don't know this was my baby that um, we're going to say is ill because, uh, and thank you, uh, Tony Man Double Zero, for letting me know that it's the logic board that I need to replace in this in order to get things back to where they should be because I have about 17 videos I recorded on here and I didn't I usually back everything up on my portable hard drive and the one time I said oh I'll back it up tomorrow this happened and it reminds me of what my stepfather used to always say he also used to always say back that shit up because he was a, a computer engineer and he always talked about technical failures and how you always have to back up your data and he's always say back that shit up and I could hear him in my head saying that when the day the computer didn't uh, get past the startup screen. So, like I was saying this summer, I got to use this thanks to my sister. This is her uh, HP. It has a touch screen. It's actually kind of kind of cool. Um, and it has the uh, the screen is actually larger. You can see the difference. It's about an inch larger than my MacBook Pro. So that has been an experience. It's kind of like if you're left-handed and you suddenly have to write with your right hand, or if you're right-handed and you suddenly have to write with your left hand, that's how I felt going from Mac back to PC because I you know how long I've been using Mac since I think my first computer was an Apple II and that came out I want to say 84 or 85. That's <laughs> how long. But you know, through school I've had to use PCs. Like the computer lab in my high school had PCs, so obviously I was used to them and then I when I got in college, I went back to using uh, Macs again. So it is what it is. That being said, um, other thing that I was going through the summer was I got off my ADHD meds because the side effects were crap. If you are under the age of 18, do not get off your meds without consulting your parents and your doctor because you really need to know how to go off them because you can have worse side effects by just going cold turkey. You really have to wean yourself off. So do not... Do what I just did unless you are directed by a doctor, which I worked with a doctor to wean myself off of them. And then I was also doing cognitive and behavioral therapy um, as like a like a replacement. So you, you can't just go off and you still have to find another way of dealing with that. And, you know, a lot of times with ADHD comes anxiety. So anyways, enough about me blathering on about what happened in my life because I know a lot of you guys just tune in to hear about the horror movies and not about my life, but I figured I'd let you know what was going on and I wasn't just a flaky person. I was like, oh, well, sometimes I'll do videos and sometimes I won't do videos. You know, there's a reason why I kind of dropped off the face of the earth on YouTube, so to speak. I did try to supplement my YouTube absence with being more present on social media. So I posted a lot more on my Facebook group page, which if you're not a part of it, please go to Facebook and join because we have started to have some really good conversations about our movies. And that's where I talk about um, trailers because I don't really do trailer reactions. I, I had planned on doing one for Halloween, but then my sister showed me the trailer and I noticed that I don't really react much. I kind of have a resting bitch face so i don't think anyone wants to tune in to see that so that's where i talk about trailers and other horror horror related or horror adjacent subjects i also have two twitter accounts one is at 
W D I J W, and that one is specifically for the YouTube, the Facebook, all horror related stuff. And that's also where I do I do live tweet horror television shows because I don't get a chance to review them. And I feel like if I try to review each episode, my reviews would be like thirty seconds long. Maybe I should try to use a Stardust app thing and do that, but I don't know. I'll think about it, but. I do live tweet American Horror Story and The Purge, which I'm trying to hang on to. The Purge is a little boring for like 60% of the time because I don't care about the love triangle between, you know, the rich girl and the two people that are trying to become rich. I don't care about them. I barely care about the girl that ran away and is on a bus with the, the cult. Her brother's story is pretty much the most interesting so far. Um, American Horror Story only just now got good in the third episode. Oh, um, I'm also probably going to use that Twitter to tweet about uh, horror TV shows that are on Shudder. Like I just started watching Channel Zero. I'm trying really hard to make it through the first season. This Candle Cove season is kind of boring to me. Um, but the thing is they're trying to stretch out a creepypasta that really is hard to stretch out the way they have it written. Um, I feel like this, the second creepypasta that they are doing or that they did already because I'm late to the series for season two sounds like a much more interesting story. The the No End House, I think it's called. Uh, so I can't wait to get to that one. I'm going to check out The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which surprised me. I only just now found out that that was kind of um, connected to Riverdale. I knew about the Archie comics, but I never read them personally beyond like one or two pages. So I didn't know that there was a connection between the Archie comics and the Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So uh, although I read that this first season is not going to directly connect to Riverdale, but in future seasons they might cross over to Riverdale, so that'll be interesting to see. I found about a series called Creeped Out that's also on Netflix that I'm going to check out. I think it starts um, this Friday. I think it drops on Netflix. And then also The Haunting of Hill House, which um, was based on a book called The Haunting of Hill House, which I think in the 60s they made a movie called The Haunting, and then... In the 90s, they remade the movie called The, ha the Haunting that are both based off the book The Haunting of Hill House. I don't know whether this series is also based off that book or those movies, but I will definitely check it out. And like I said, I m most likely will not review them here, but I'll tweet about them. So follow me on Twitter. Tweet me about it. I'll tweet you back. Um, and also, and follow me. I usually follow you back unless I see that you're a troll. If you're a troll, obviously, I'm not going to follow you back because I don't need any kind of negativity in my life. The other Twitter account is at Horror Freak, but Freak is spelled F-R-E-Q, and that one is more for general stuff. Like I might tweet about music, pop culture, reality shows, just other stuff. It, I also tweet about horror on there, but I figured I'd make the two separate Twitter accounts because I imagine, what if you follow me because you're into horror, but then you get discouraged because you see me tweet like 40 times during... 90 uh 90 day fiance or my 600 pound life you're gonna be like i thought this was a horror twitter and she's tweeting about 600 pound people so that's why i have the two separate twitters for people that if you only want to uh interact with me with horror then that's the at what i just watched which is just the the um initials and if you don't mind just a general twitter account that's at horror free okay do i have anything else i need to oh Yes, I do have a favor to ask you guys because uh, I'm very fortunate to have subscribers that are from around the world and I really want to uh, be able to review more international films, but I'm not sure where I can get a hold of them. I, I see a lot of trailers for really great looking movies from India, um, from Nigeria and Indonesia. But I can't seem to find where, well, the Nigerian ones, they're, they're usually in English. So that's not a problem of, of finding um, a translation, but just finding where is the best place for me to watch the, the Nigerian films. Um, the Indonesian and the Indian movies, the Indian movies seem to be in Hindi most of the time, but I can't find them with English subtitles. And the same thing with Indonesian. I would love to watch, there's a lot of really great Indonesian um trailers that I saw but I can't find where to watch these movies so if you know a Roku app or a website where I can watch the movies with English subtitles that would be so helpful and even if it's a country that I haven't mentioned like if if um 
if you know of any country that I have not mentioned and you know of some great movies for me to review, please let me know where I can see the movie because unfortunately some of the movies that have been requested, I didn't get a chance to review because I didn't have a way of seeing them. A good example is Bad Dreams, which I'm probably going to have to purchase the DVD of because it's not available on the Amazon streaming video. It's not on Netflix. It's not on Shudder. There's a couple other uh, Roku channels that I check for that is not available on there either. So I'm probably going to end up um, purchasing the DVD because I can't, I can't stream it anywhere at this time. So keep in mind for future reference, if you request a movie, please also tell me where you saw the movie or where you, where it's being shown now. I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, now the... Did I finish saying everything I needed to say? I have to make sure because keep my notes. So now we're on to the shout out portion. And this is probably going to be the biggest chunk of the video because I have so much to say to you guys. I'm going to say a lot of names. So please bear with me and hopefully I say everybody's name in the correct pronunciation. If I didn't, feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, I want to shout out my day ones. These are the people that have been with me for a couple of years. And they stay despite, you know, the setbacks that I've had, like, Last year, I stopped recording for a while because I ended up having a seizure and then I got shingles. It was not a good year for me. You know, I was having re allergic reactions. I was waking up with my face swollen. It was a mess. So, so far, this fall has been better than la last fall. But I really have to thank these people that stuck with me even through all that. Jervis Horton and Z Rezik and Tony Man Double Zero. You guys always communicate with me, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in the comments, and I really, really appreciate your support. Oh, by the way, Jervis, I did see the green slime. I'm going to review it tomorrow. And <laughs> I wish I would have known that it was a horror movie that had its own theme song. And I, I'm, I have to look up the rules on how much of a snippet of music I can play, because I really want to play a snippet of the green slime <laughs> theme song, because it's too funny. Who else here? Onyx uh, Pages. Thank you. JT Zim, Russ Kinchin, um, Dom Mink, The Once in Future Badass, Joe Brewster. I don't know whether this is Primo Elevenable or do Primo Double Zero Elevenable or Prim Double Zero Elevenable. I need to know how to say your name, but uh, thank you so much. Steven Rivera, Joseph Xavier or Joseph Javier. Brian Snook, Nikki Benson, Funny Mom 7, Marie C, Mad Taj the Gurney, that's a cool name, Lost Days, Apollino, Jillian Brunelli, Tyler W, 81 Oak Ridge, shout out to Connecticut 81 Oak Ridge, I don't know what the nickname for Stanford is because I'm from more the northern part, I'm from East Hartford which is right next to Hartford, the Heartbeat, and we had um, Hard Hit New Britain, I lived in two years, and um, there's two nicknames for it. Some people call it Money Craving New Haven, and some people call it Gun Waving New Haven, but I lived a couple years there. Uh, but I don't know the nickname for, I think you're you're in Stanford. I don't know the nickname for that, but shout out to Connecticut. Ludovico Street, another awesome name. If you don't know what Ludovico Street is, it's the street that the house is on in Hellraiser. It's mentioned a lot in the book, The Hellbound Heart, and you see it very briefly in a movie. You'll see the street sign, Ludovico Street. Supreme Castro. Shout out to you. I did see Incident in the Ghostland. I will try to review it sometime th between this week and next week. Uh, Michael Villart. I have to find out where I can watch The Angel's Melancholia. I'm still searching for it because I don't. It's one of those movies that's it's not going to be on Netflix. And I'm... Did I check Amazon Prime? I have to double check Amazon Prime, but I, I definitely am going to still review that. Summer Elmore, Unfriended Dark Web. Same thing. I missed it at the movie theater, but it might be at the Dollar Theater. So I'm going to check out and see if it's at the Dollar Theater. And we, we actually have one in Altamont Springs, which is right next to Orlando. There's a Dollar Theater, and then I think on, on Tuesdays it's 75 cents. <laughs> is that bad? Then I'm like, I'm going to go see this movie for 75 cents. <laughs> I'll let you know. Sneaky Mia, thank you so much for the kind words and encouragement. I really, really appreciate that. Um, it's going to take me a year to review all the movies that you listed for me to review, but I will try to do my best. Same thing with Fred Roman. 
you requested so many reviews and in, in, or movies in one or a couple different um, posts, and I really appreciate you commenting on my on my videos. Same thing. It's going to take me a long time to get through them. Uh, I am going to review um, Thirteen Ghosts, which I believe stars your favorite Shannon Elizabeth. So I will I will definitely do that one as my first Shannon Elizabeth uh, movie for you. Thirteen String Guy, or maybe it's Thirteen String Guy. Shout out to you. I did not forget about what I'm going to call the newbies. These are the people who just subscribed to me in September and August. And welcome to the channel. Hopefully I can improve and make really good content for you guys. So shout out to Jeff Floyd, Cali Guy, Spider-Man 122, Alex Tapia, Ray Carasquillo, Michael Chen, Gabriela Hess, Catherine McKinnon, Ijna, Mick Pascal N, and Amadou Yakubu, Neptune Venus 1984, Durden Godfrey, Sluts and Guts, you gotta love that name, KZM 2210, Camp Def 3 and 2D. They might unsubscribe to me after I finish reviewing their movie. I, I'm gonna review their movie and I've been putting it off because I don't like to rate independent movies on the same scale as large-scale movies but then I had a discussion with someone that says no you should you shouldn't grade on a curve you should do it all the same whether they're indie or not I still haven't decided whether I'm going to grade it on a curve or not I'm going to try to be as nice as I can about the movie um who else oh shout out to Rotten Pop, Eduardo Cruz, Kata Becerra, Carmen PG, Az-Al, uh, TSM underscore Onyx, Mario McQuay, Ashutosh Agrawal, Rajesh Gada. I also want to mention some YouTubers that I uh, really like, some of whom I've spoken to directly and some that just inspire me, even though we've never, you know, had conversations with each other. But I definitely really recommend you follow these people. Susie S., she's such a sweetheart. She does also horror reviews. Uh, she does thrillers and I think um, some science fiction as well. She's a very, very sweet person. She also does a few uh, language tutorials that I think are really cool. So her name is Susie S. with Susie S U S Y and then capital S dot. So check her out on her channel. Chauncey K. Robinson very awesome reviewer she does trailer reactions so if you really want someone that's on top of trailer actions definitely check her out she also does horror reviews and her setup is really is really cute it's like a she's like a horror hostess horror deconstruction they are more like a podcast but they still are a youtube channel they have really interesting conversations they're very very cool people screen stars again same thing horror fantasy movie analysis good channel Wolfman's got Nards. You gotta love his accent. I don't know whether he is. Uh, you have, this is the American in me because I can't tell the difference between a Scottish accent and a Northern uh, British accent. But I, if I had to guess, I would say he he has a Scottish accent. It's a beautiful accent. You can listen to him talk for hours. That's Wolfman's got Nards. That's a good channel name. Midnight Movie Club might give him a run for his money in the accent department because I think he's also Scottish and has an awesome accent. Both of their channels. Are really great they're they think things out very well and they're entertaining nyx fears i love her horror setup her she has kind of like a um, horror hostess type theme to her surroundings i love her setup the lighting is really great i believe she's studying film, film but i've been watching her for years and it's really great to see her glow up um your ticket entertainment i just found out about him he reminds me of my Uncle Ray so much. I just like listening to him. And I love his intro and his ex his, his outro. It's like a, listening to a real radio show. It's really cool. Old Magnus Batman. You have to find... Speaking of... If you're watching this Old Magnus Batman, um, try to put your name and your tags. Because when I put your name into the search in YouTube, your channel doesn't come up immediately. So... I wonder if that's if that could just be a YouTube problem and not something anything that you did, but you might want to check that because I was trying to find you to show you to someone else and your channel wasn't coming up. Um, but his channel is really cool. He rates movies on a scale of Batman, and I think the uh, highest is um, Ben Affleck, and I think the lowest is is 
it Val Kilmer's butt? <laughs> I think it's Val Kilmer's butt or Val Kilmer's nipples. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's hilarious, and it, you have to check out his his channel. Pay or wait, she's really good, especially if you want to want new release um, horror movies and other movies. She does any type of movie. It could be action, it could be comedy, and also her lipstick game is on point. She all she has so many different shades of lipstick, and they all look good on her because she has just she has a beautiful tone of skin. Um, who else did I? Oh, Purple Film. Awesome guy. He recently did a video that was specifically about believing in yourself. And it just, I felt like I needed to hear that that day. So that was really awesome for him to make that video. Not that he made it for me. I'm just saying he made a video and I happened to watch it right when I really needed to watch it. Another new one um, that I just discovered is Riley Birch. He is very eloquent in his speaking. He breaks down films. Um in a very intricate and logical way. And I, I, you just have to watch his videos. I can see him really, really developing into an awesome, awesome, uh, reviewer and film critic. Oh, and by the way, Riley, congratulations on starting college. I, I'm so surprised when he did a video and said, Oh, this is my first week of college. Cause he already sounds like a grad student. Like he sounds like he's already did four years of college and he's on his second year of grad school and he's about to go off into the world and to find out that he was just starting college is amazing very intelligent guy oh and his afro is epic it's just beautiful it has a beautiful afro don't cut that off riley did i forget anybody oh yeah two people <laughs> I, I put them last instead of first because of nepotism because that's that's part of the reason why i wanted them is my brother he has a channel called hobby view and he does uh reviews and test flights of rc plane helicopters, quadcopters. He also does builds. Um, I believe he does some 3D printing for builds as well. So if you're into RC, um, hobby, I don't know what you guys will call it. I'm such a terrible, uh, plugger for my family, but I, he, he makes really good videos. This is what I'll say. It's like watching a PBS TV show, the way it's narrated, the way it's, it's shot. It's really, really good. So definitely check it out. That's hobby view. And my baby sister just started a YouTube channel that she's going to be doing, um, beauty and makeup. Um, I think it's mostly going to be product reviews more so than tutorials, but I think she's also going to, uh, also do some makeup tutorials. She has one video up, uh, talking about her work experience at Hooters, which is kind of funny. Um, and her channel is just called Khadija and it's K-H-A-D-E-S-I-A. -E so I shouted out my siblings that have YouTube channels. So I feel good about that. Oh, I almost forgot to show you what I made because I'm, I'm corny like that. Check this out. Cause you have to celebrate the little things. YouTube doesn't send you anything for getting 500 subscribers. So I thought it would be appropriate that it's like, it's, it's a cardboard play button. And I, I, um, framed it in a dollar store frame. <laughs> so, cause that's what I, I feel like I deserve. I deserve cardboard for making 500. And I think, um, when I make a thousand, I'll make a uh, styrofoam, I think styrofoam or some type of foam, whatever would be the next upgrade from cardboard is what my status is going to be when I, when I reach a thousand. Thank you for making it this far into my video. If I missed your name, I apologize. Please feel free to comment in, down below and I will shout you out next Sunday. Because, oh, by the way, I'm going to try to do shout outs um, at least twice a month. That's what I'm going to go for twice a month. Because I feel like every week will be overkill. And I might just be saying the same names over and over again. Because my um, subscriber base is so small. But I definitely want to keep an open dialogue between us. And reminder, when you request a movie... Please let me know where I can view the movie. And if I did not mention your movie request in this video, it means that I lost track of the comment. Please, please forgive me and repost it at the bottom of this video so that I have um, one video with all the requests on it. Because if I lose track of a comment, I can't remember which video it was posted on. And I actually tried to find all of them and I was scrolling back trying to go through six to a year's worth of videos to find who requested because someone requested that I review the descent and the descent too and I can't 
remember who it was. I am going to review those two movies, but please let me know who you are so I can mention in the video who uh, who requested that. And I believe there was a couple other requests that I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would really, really, really uh, hope that you would forgive me and repost it and this video so that I know, oh, I can go back to that 500 subscribers video and I can see the requests all in the same video. So thank you guys so much for still rocking with me. And I'm going to try to do this uh, 30 days of horror. I think that's what it's called for October and record every single day. So don't be surprised if you see me on here with a shower cap on and a robe and um, circles around my eyes because I didn't put any uh, concealer on and, and just look in a hot buttered mess. But I'm going, this is my own personal challenge to see if I can do it. Thanks again. Bye-bye. P.S. I forgot about two people and it hit me as I was shutting down the camera. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot these two people. It was CML Entertainment. I can't believe what I don't know what's wrong with me. CML Entertainment is the home of independent heart. You have to go to his channel. And the other person is Nerd Shock. He has made a video in a while, but still subscribe to him because when he does make videos, they're really entertaining and he's just worth he's just def definitely worth a listen. So shout out to CML Entertainment and Nerd Shock.